Now welcome to the Savon Experience. babies I'm back and I want to talk about I have some pet peeves I want to discuss um and the only reason why I'm going through all this is because I pretty much have had my I've had I'm at my wits end on it the first pet peeve I, I, I have is stop hating on people especially me what you hating on me for you can't stop shit so stop hating on me whether it's at the office whether it's the salon or wherever it's at stop hating on me okay you not you can't do nothing about it. Okay? My path is laid out. Where I go and what I do, I'm gonna do. So whether you like, dislike, or whatever the case may be, stop hating on it. Because you can't do nothing about it. Focus on something else. You need something else to do. Get a hobby. Secondly, a pet peeve of mine is I don't like to constantly repeat myself when I'm talking to you. Dudes, if I'm talking to you, females, whatever. If I'm talking to you, we having a conversation, you're supposed to be engrossed into our conversation, then you need to listen. Listen. Okay? You're talking to me, listen, because I'm listening to you, and you're not having to repeat everything that you have to say, so I don't want to constantly repeat what I have to say. And if I tell you once, for example, hey, boo, what's up, what you doing later? Nothing. I'm off today. I'm chilling. I'm having a good time. You know, this is my only day off. Oh, okay, boo, shit. So, uh, can I come through? Yeah, sure. What time? Oh, about 10 or so. No, because I'll be going to bed, getting ready for my work week. What other day you have this week? That you, you know, what other day you off this week? Bitch, didn't I just say this is my only day off? So I'm not off the rest of the week. Or if I say, okay, I'm working to 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. Oh, for real, can I roll by about 7? I will come and punch you in your face. You are being just idiotic right now. That is a pet peeve of mine. Don't talk to me. Don't say shit to me. Just move on. Just move on. Go on. You done got on my nerve already before you even got a chance to know me. You got on my nerve. Take your stupid ass on. <sighs> Another pet peeve of mine is people walking around, parents, okay, if you male or female, you walking around, hair done, Gucci Fendi bag, Jimmy Choo, Juicy Couture, whoever it might be, okay, and you have your Jimmy, your, your, your fabulous ass shoes on and clothes and Burberry and all of that, you doing all of that, but your child look raggedy as hell, hair is broke off, nappy as fuck. Okay, clothes dingy as hell. And I ain't just saying they've been outside playing. No, nah, bitch, y'all out going somewhere. You fresh to death. Car clean as a whistle. But your child look crazy as hell. That child is a direct reflection of you. You need to be looking the mess while that child looking good. That child didn't ask to be here. Take in your responsibilities. You try from this fuck. I hate that shit. Okay? The other thing that I hate a pet people mind is quit being grown as hell. Look, I'm tired of people saying this person is holding me back, that person is holding me back, I can't catch a break. No, you can't catch a break when you walk around 40, almost 50 damn years old and you a granddaddy and you have your pants sagging below your ass. Your waist of your pants is below your butt. For real, that's what we want to see? That's cute. HR really looking for that. That's high quality right there. No, it's not. You look stupid. Retarded, dumb, and you don't need a job. You need to continue to sit there being ignorant as hell because that is a level of ignorance that's there. I don't have nothing against nobody sagging. I'm a lie. Yes, I do. Bitch, you tired. Why do you want to struggle walking down the street because your pants is around your damn ankles? And you ain't fucking. Really? That is... Damn it, ridiculous. Okay, real ridiculous. Another pet peeve I have, quit tattling so much. Oh my God, let me just whisper something in your ear. If you constantly telling on somebody, telling on your coworkers, or whatever the case may be, do you realize that people don't appreciate that, even the person you talking to, they don't appreciate that shit. They look at you like this bitch tell all the goddamn time. I 
can't trust this whole this whole tell this should tell on me. Let me watch her. And matter of fact, she got too much on her. She or he, excuse me, because I don't want to say all women do that. No, because they don't. But they have too much time on their damn hands because they worry about everybody else. Worry about you. Why are you worried about what that person is doing? Why are you worried about what I'm doing? Okay, worry about what you're doing. Let your little light shine on its own and quit trying to focus yours on everybody else. Bitch, who are you? Mall security? What the fuck is that? Sit your tired ass now. I cannot stand that. Okay? I just cannot stand it. Now, another pet peeve that I have. OMG. If I'm going somewhere and I say, okay, y'all, let's do so and so, or you ask me to go somewhere, why do I have to always fucking drive? What? Bitch, I don't mind driving. Why I gotta always drive? Bitch, I'm not driving. Fuck you. We get in your car. I don't care what it is, bitch. I'm gonna squeeze in it, bitch. We get in your goddamn car. I'm not gonna always keep fucking driving, so quit asking me. Okay? Another pet peeve I have, salon-wise, don't come in debating my damn prices. My prices are what they are. If you can't pay it or if you don't, if you don't have the money to do so, then we'll work something else out. Or you can go somewhere else. I know. I, I would love to have you, but we're not going to debate my prices. Not let me, let's make a fucking deal. Okay? It is not let's make a fucking deal. Don't tell me, well, what are you doing? Are you doing this, that, and what is that? D don't worry about it, honey. You getting what you need. I'm a professional. I will give you a complete breakdown of what's going on. We'll even tell you what prices, what products that I'm using so that you can feel more secure about this transaction because you need to be. However, don't expect me to have high quality products in my salon and you thinking you finna pay what somebody would uh, charge you who uses salon essentials or some damn suave. Excuse me. Suave, 88 cents at a Dollar General store. For real? So if you want to come in and get your hair for the low low, $225, and that's what we'll put, we'll use Suave, shampoo and conditioner. Okay? We'll use some, uh, some old Jeanette. You know what? I'm lying, because I'm not even going to do that shit. I'm not going to low rate. I'm not going to uh, reduce the quality of my work for nobody. So it's just not for you. So my pet peeve is, if you want to know how much my prices are, and I'll give you the price list, and uh, you have a problem with that, well, sweetheart, I understand that. Everybody's budget is not the same. I respect that. But it's not let's make a deal. You pay what's on there. I have it itemized. So if you come in trying to be extra fab, I want to get my hair cut, shampoo style, cut, color, and can I get a few pieces put in for highlights? I don't really color my hair. Sure. There's a price for shampoo and style with condition. There's a price for your cut or trim, separate additional two. There's also a price to put those pieces in, boo-boo. Okay, so you have to rack that up. It's all on the price list. So if you can't afford it, don't come in and ask me for all that shit. It's not let's make a deal. And if, ugh, girl, anyway, so moving on from that, that's a pet peeve too. I cannot stand that whatsoever. Oh, let's go back to that because guess what? When you go to your job, it's time for your raise. You're not saying, you know what? I really don't do that much work. So, really, you can actually um, reduce my salary. I like to see you do that. When you do that, I'll break you a deal. <clears throat> okay? Because you're done to sell if you do that. Okay, so then let's see. <laughs> the next thing that I don't, that I have a pet peeve about is if you've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten kids, don't catch an attitude with me because I don't want to date with you because you got all them damn kids. Now let me say, there's nothing wrong with having kids. You can have as many kids as you want to, but that's your problem, okay? That's for you to take care of. That's for you to maintain. That's for you to budget in. That's for you because it's your responsibility. Yours, yours, yours. You made that decision without me. So I don't have to accept that. And if I don't want to date you because I don't want to be bothered with five of your damn kids, it is what it is, okay? It's the same as if I don't like, if I don't want to be bothered with dogs. Or cats. Or if I don't want to smell this. It's the same thing. I don't care. I don't care. Okay? I'm not going to date you if I don't want to. So regardless of the reason. So don't be catching an attitude when somebody says, Oh, you got five kids. Oh, for real? Deuces! <laughs> like Chris Brown said, 
Deuces! I'm gonna say bye-bye, say bye-bye, okay? To her. I'm not gonna do it. Put my deuces up, babe. I'm gonna holler at you. Whew. And another thing is, if you call and I can't answer the phone, because either I'm busy doing hair, because I do do hair, or working, or in a meeting, whatever the case may be, leave a message or send me a text message, as a matter of fact. I'm not even upset if you don't want to send me a message. If you want to leave a voice message, if you just want to send me a text message, that's fine. But then give me time to respond. Don't keep calling and texting like I have nothing to do but to be sitting here on the phone like this. Waiting on you. I'm not waiting on you. Stop doing that. That is rude and ignorant. Get your shit together. Hmm. Oh. Another pet peeve of mine. I don't even really know if this is a pet peeve, really. It's not a pet peeve. I just think that just gets on my nerve, period. Okay. So, <laughs> you bought, that's not really a pet peeve. So, you bought some, a new whatever, belt, shoes, shirt, and you were so eager to wear it, you just put it on with any damn thing, whether it matched or not. That's not really a pet peeve, but that just gets on my nerve. Because that's stupid. You look crazy. Wait until you get something to match. Okay? And if you don't have nothing to match it and you still want it, then understand and put it up till you find something. Don't just try to force it into an outfit and it, look, and it looks all crazy. I mean, you do get it, though. I mean, you get the attention that you want because we will focus on that one item because it's so out of place. They're going to talk about you. They're going to roast you. And then your feelings is going to be hurt. And then you're going to be sitting there looking stupid and mad at everybody. And why? Because you know how folks are. Because you would do the same thing. So. It is what it is. Okay. It is what it is. So those are my pet peeves. That I just wanted to share with everyone. And. Um. It is what it is, okay? So, be good. I have another video I'm going to post. It's just me rambling. No, I'm not. I'm not going to post that shit. So, anyway, stay delicious, Stay g delicious, And always be sexy. <laughs> That's a wrap. Deuces. <laughs> Deuces.